Welcome back to Daisy. You're joining me here for the finale of my new 3D printing adventure. Through the course of this series, you've seen me build up my base and take on the clan-filled world of Chinaris as a solo. Over many trips to the black market, I've been successful in selling as many boxes as I possibly can and making millions. The wipe is soon approaching and this is the finale. So make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. But before we get into it, here's today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by Manscaped. Introducing Manscaped's all new performance package 5.0 Ultra, including the new Weed Whacker 2.0 nose and ear hair trimmer. We also have the new Lawn Mower 5.0, which I don't have a blade in at the moment, but it has adaptable changeable blades. They come on and off really easy with just a little pop. And this thing is an absolute beast. Listen to that. Listen to that horsepower. Also included in our lovely kit is the Crop Preserver and Crop Soother Deodorants. Technically, this is an aftershave of lotion and is advanced groin care. These things are actually really nice though. The ladies will thank you for it. Also included in this great kit are the new Manscaped boxes, which are awesome and very good for anything sporty, shall we say. And also, last but not least, you get the new Shed 2.0, which is a travel bag. It's their new and updated travel bag. So thanks once again to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Head over using the link in the description. Use the code NASHDAYZ for a discount, guys, on the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra. Merry Christmas, everyone. And let's get to it. Well, the sun is just coming up this morning. Welcome to Daisy. You are joining me here for the fifth episode of my new series. I feel like the last episode was almost a mid-season finale or something. It was a bit of a strange episode, I know. But I think it was a very good one. And I just wanted to say a quick shout out to everyone who left a comment, giving your support, or let me know how it's going with your guys quitting nicotine. It's amazing to hear your stories and how it's going for you guys and any tips you have, anything like that. So thank you all so much for letting me know. Now, onwards with the video, because we've got some work to do in this video right here. So we've been playing this wipe for almost a couple of weeks now, I'd say, and it is definitely time to build up a little more. My base is only a four door raid as it stands. I don't really know how I made it this far without getting raided, but I did somehow, I'm not sure. And it's basically time that I start building up. So while I'm here at the trader, I'm going to pick up some code locks I already have about 10, maybe 20 boxes of nails, so nails are not an issue. But I'm just going to have to get some code locks and uh, go and do a little bit of chopping down some trees. And I think we'll expand the base outside, out the front area. What I could always do, uh, something that I had toyed around with doing, was just moving all together, you know. Because it's pretty well known where my base is now. It's a bit of a hostile location. It could be beneficial to move. But seeing as we've made it this far into the wipe at my base, I feel like I may as well just stay there now, right? That sort of makes sense. So yeah, I think for this video, our mission is to build up a little bit. Uh, and I've also got those three green keys I can do as well. So there's plenty to do, but main focus, I think, is on building up the base a little bit. Staying secure until the end of wipe. Which I don't know how long it is till wipe, but it should be soon. This guy's in a white outfit. Jesus. Look at the gear these people are in. Alright, boys. We have that big base that's by the military uh, and near Kamishovo. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's ours. Oh, shit, that's, that's you ours. guys? Oh, nice, nice. That's our base. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. How, how's your, uh, your business going, by the way? Ah, I see. Medium, medium <laughs> sort of well, you know. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. Uh, trying to get things yeah, rolling a little bit now. Hey, you guys don't have a jerry can, do you? It's completely random, I know, but I lost um, my jerry can. We can, we can get you, we can bring you one if you need one. That's all right. You, you guys ain't got to bring me one. I'm just asking. You never know. We got, we got plenty. We got, we got plenty. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, sorry, mate. Or I should say, man. I had a bit no, of dramas good. getting back in. Good. You guys, uh, you guys got done an outfit change, can. have you, while I was away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah some of us, yeah, some, some of us. Filament. Not at all. Gee, oh, thank you guys. Oh, gee, yo, we've yeah, got no a bit problem. of filaments as well. You guys yeah, don't need these. Take it, take it. Yeah, that's all you, man. Take it all. Shit, that. Well, thank, thank you guys, and, man. Hey, and if you, if you take that, if you take that raid alarm, 
and you put it in it and you put the blue to, uh, blue film in it, you get a, a raid alarm that you can set up and it'll let you know when your base is getting raided. Nice. Yeah, I hadn't done that yet, so I'll I'll work that out. Thank you, man. That's appreciated, guys. Yeah, no Cheers. problem. Yeah, thank you guys. Oh, yeah, I wanted to say too, bro. Good luck on your run on basically going completely sober off with Nigga Team, man. I've been there. It's thank not you, easy, man. Thank you. You'll get it done, man. Yeah, I'm feeling I'll a bit better video, now. Bro. By today's day 12, so. I mean, yeah, I'm feeling day a bit 12? better, but like, still sort of sucks, you know? Hey, trust me. Yeah, it does suck. Trust me. Pick up the PKM. Nash, pick up the PKM. Oh, jeez, oh, man. Oh, okay. I mean, I'll take Thank you, guys. Hey, yo, Nash. Uh, if you uh, are interested, um, an offer we're looking we're gonna do switch over to the six man next wipe and we're short by once so if you're gonna do a video the six man uh, i free, appreciate uh, it boys but i'm a solo through and through yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's what i heard you know, that's what i heard yeah, I told you. you know how it is I I, I, it that's is. what i heard but hey and with that in that base raid uh, if right. you need some help uh feel free to yeah, hit us up definitely man <laughs> all right okay. feel free to hit us up okay we'll we'll uh we'll uh storm that bitch what's your what's your guys like clan tag i don't know what you're like Name is. Uh, it's uh, PWW. Right, okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for you then. I don't know if you're making a video, but if you are, whoever f with us, man, we'll hunt you down. <laughs> nice. Right. Nice. Uh, hold on, I got one more, I got one more present for you. That's no, good. You guys you guys can keep it. It's fine. No, 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 no. We, we, I'm good. I'm good. We got we got plenty. Take that. Oh, jeez. And take that. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you. No problem, man. I would slap that on. Yeah. I uh, don't get one tapped. Damn. Much appreciated. Uh, this is definitely better than anything I've had all wipe, so... I'll take it. If you want to take a look at our new base sometime, uh, go look at Kraz Police Station. Kraz Police Station, okay. Oh well. I'll swing by. Yep. Well, good luck, guys. I appreciate it anyway. Appreciate the gifts. Yeah, no problem. I'll see you around. Oh, man, good luck. Yeah, yeah. See ya, man. See ya. You guys know I don't normally take free but in this instance, I'm going to take it. I'll use this skin and bench thing. Ooh, that's quite cool. Envy. So is it just like whatever's free? I don't really know. Yeah, I don't really know. I did have a cool black, but now I've I've messed it up straight away. Well, we got our gasoline that we wanted anyway. And a whole lot of other presents too. Okay, I need to fill up my... Thingy. Okay, well, I'm gonna make this run to base anyway. Hopefully, uh, it's not too hostile. They said they're in Krasno Police Station, so... Well, that was interesting. I've got a bunch of freebies. I'll definitely take the freebies. They can definitely just sit in base and I can use them for a defense or something if needs be. I sort of messed up by skinning the helmet. <laughs> and now I couldn't change it to anything else. So, while it was like a cool matching black set, I've now got like a, a wonky set, so sorry about that. I could reset, but I don't think it would go to the right thing. I honestly don't know. I, I don't know how the reskinning works. Maybe I'll see about getting uh, my own custom skin added. Well, shout out to PWW Clan anyway for giving me some freebies. Right. I'm back to base. Um, in the interest of playing legit, okay, we will, I will put this stuff away. I'm not going to wear it. I'm not going to wear it. Uh, but I will be holding it in here just in case, like, say I get raided, then I can put it on and use it for, like, a defense or something. <laughs> then, at that point, I will happily use it and not care, you know? But until then. Okay. Right, so at least we've got one, uh, one set. This is a jug suit. So, yeah, this is some high-level stuff. But, you never know, we might be able to get something like that from our little tizzy run that we're working on. The main thing that we were after is the filaments. So let's, uh, get these filaments going. Switch that baby on. Okay, now toggle the tray. We're going to get this, uh... We'll get the raid alarm printing. There we go. Toggle tray. 45 minutes. Oh, it's not very long to produce. That's good news. Okay. We'll get that on the go. And we'll work out how to get the raid alarm set up. Because, um... Well, that will be huge. I'll be able to get notified when I'm... Being raided. Okay. And I've got... 
quite a few more still. I won't bother printing the key gold bar just yet, I don't think. I'll just stick with the boxes for now. With these ones. What have we got? So, yeah, mid tier. This is high tier. And mid tier. Look at us, we are back in full swing, guys. Production is <laughs> production is a mess. I've got a gold filament left over as well. I, think I should probably take these and sell them now. There's not really any point in hanging on to these. Okay, I do want to do a bit of a sell run on that stuff, but I guess I'll wait till a bit later. How long we got? Eight minutes on the raid alarm. Nice. The weather is horrible outside. Doesn't look good at all. Look, as you see, these guys over here are building, but uh, slowly is how I would put it. Maybe they need nails. Okay, our raid alarm should be printed. It is, I can see it. I can see it in there. Can I take it? Yeah. Take the hands. So I'm going to have to investigate. This alarm can be set up to ping you on Discord when your base is getting raided. Follow guides in raiding guide on Discord to set up. Okay, so I'm going to have to follow a guide. But I can get this set up in the base now to tell me when I'm being raided. That's pretty cool, right? Okay. Yeah, there's not really anything for sale. I'm going to go try to do this tier 3 key at uh, VMC. We're just doing these keys one at a time. Base on the hill over there, look, next to those trees. Alright, let's get a good look around here. We've got to clear the hill. Clear the hill and then go over. Base there, that's an ugly ass base. I don't know what they've got going on at the top of that. But it's not looking good. Alright, we're on full auto. We're going to get a little look over the hill. Just make sure no one's camping. Hard to tell normally, but yeah, it looks good. No one in those tents, I don't think. Two guns just sat in these crates here, I can see. run in and check but I think it's gonna be low tier here so I don't really think looting is gonna help at all. Oh, it's AK-12s, it's not bad. McMillan can stay but yeah. Right, I don't want to loot too much, it's all gonna be fairly low tier. Let's go, let's do this. Come on, hope for a tier 4 key guys, we can do this. Come on now. Come on. No, no tier 4. We get suppressor. Ah, oh, that was a really bad one, really. Okay. Damn it, no, no uh, tier 4. Just looting up these barracks and whatnot that are here. Try and make a little bit of extra money before I go. Okay, we've got the markers back. Let's head back to the trader. BMC is very quiet this morning. Is that Mouse around I just picked up? It was, yeah, nice. That's actually good. Two boxes, nice. Not that I even have a Mouse or Sniper. But if I get one, then I've got some bullets. Another AK-12. Right, let's get out of here. We're going back the exact same way, hoping for the best. Okay, so that's one tier three key out of three, and basically nothing back. Put the suppressor on instead, I think. Rather than worrying about a bit of recoil control, we'll keep the suppressed. So I could sell that DVL for a little bit, but there's not really any point, so I'll be keeping that. Trying to clear out some of the worst stuff that I've got on me. I think that'll be okay. How much do I get for these attachments? Eh, not much. I'll keep them. I need them, really. Okay, well, it was a sort of successful run. Just with no real good reward at the end of it, unfortunately. 
I do have two more of the keys. But I don't know if I want to just rinse them all back to back or if I want to maybe try something else first. Let's head back to base for now. Alright. So I've got three cases to go and sell. I'm going to try and make a little bit of money off of these. And then I really need to get around to the building job that I've been saying about doing. So let's uh, go for this little run now. And then we'll head back and get built up. As you see, I do have my good armor on. Seeing as we're going for a black market run, may as well. It is just getting dark, but I don't have MVGs. I've got no MVG slot on my helmet, so... Gonna have to hope for the best on this one. Pops low though, I think I'll be okay to be honest, I'll just send it. Alright, it's dark, but it's not so bad. We just had a restart, so that should be a pretty good time to go into the black market trader. It normally is, for whatever reason. If you find just going in straight after a restart, tends to be okay. But then all the tension, all the nervous runs going into black market that we've done this season. And I haven't seen anyone in there yet. Not one. All trade runs have been made successfully. I've not lost anything in there. It's pretty crazy, actually. Now, maybe this will be the one <laughs> where it all goes horribly wrong. There is always that possibility, but we've actually pretty much nailed Black Market this wipe, I've got to say. I feel like it's a bit darker than it was when I said it's not actually that dark. Now I really pretty much can't see. Right, let's do this thing. Lovely night sky. No one on that one, no one on that one, okay, yeah. Sellables. Okay, let's go. The money, got the money. Let's do it. Nice, okay. Very quick and uh, smooth black market run there. We really got that down now. <laughs> that didn't take long at all. All right, we made it. One more successful 3D printing run. And uh, potentially the last. I know I said this before, <laughs> but I think that one there probably is the last 3D printing run. Unless I really want some money for something. But I mean, like, my bank account is now full <laughs> with this money that I've got. Maybe not done 3D printing forever, but definitely for now. Just while we focus on some other things. Namely, building the base up first. Because I really don't know how I survived this long. But I did. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, 840,000 is what I've got. Oh, actually, while I'm here, I want to try and see if I can change this helmet back again. Oh, I see. Okay. You literally just have to go like that, and then it's there. Okay. So I want to find a black one, right? Crakey. Crakey. Yeah, I think I'm on the right thing. Okay, we're back to our set. We've worked out how to get the this, this set going. Wow, that's two really cheap blue filaments. <laughs> oh, keep saying it every time and then, yeah. There's a car 98k as well, I'll tell you that too. Some really good stuff on it. <laughs> Easy money. Even this here, this guy's listed two sticks of C4 for 120k, I'll take that. Six sheet metal for 300k, yeah, that could be good, so I could do a sheet metal door. Yeah, I'll take that. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Right, and now, what else have I got to spend? Not loads. There isn't actually much left. That's good news. Because I've spent all my money now, anyway. Uh, even that gold filament there for 250 is pretty good. Okay, yeah, I think I spent enough. Let's get back to base. With a nice bit of sheet metal, though, and some C4 as well, which is a bit random, but... You know what? We'll take it. It was cheap, so we'll take it. We might be able to make some money off it. Worst case scenario. Well, I really was planning on not printing anything else, but these were just criminally cheap filaments, so it would have been stupid not to get them. 
And I picked up a Car 98K as well, which is a really good sniper. It's a more powerful sniper than anything I've got at this point anyway. So that was a very good purchase, especially for 25,000. That's a bargain right there. We love a good bargain. So we'll get these two printing and then uh, main thing I need to do is just chop down a load of logs really. So we'll get on with that first. The sun is just coming back up. After that run, it was a hell of a run. We've got an absolute bag full of loot. Oh, we got someone up on the hill there, look. You know, that's quite a nice spot for a base, actually. Nice, uh, nice placement. Maybe go check him out a little bit later on. Loads of people building up around here in this town, though. We actually got some bases beginning to disappear. Interestingly yeah. enough. Okay. Uh, first things first, I could just try and build up this door straight away. I don't think I'll need, I think I literally just need a hatchet and some, yeah. Build tier 2 sheet metal. And, uh, oh wait, I think I just need nails. Maybe. Do I need to dismantle the wood door? Let me grab some extra nails just to make sure. Got no option to build up a new one, so I'm gonna reckon that you gotta dismantle and then reapply, but I could be wrong. Okay. Either that or maybe I just don't have enough. Build wood door, there we go, I'm just gonna have to settle for wood. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on there. I could build these up to sheet metal. So it's just gonna I'm just gonna do this to get rid of the sheet metal. I don't want it in my inventory. Actually, not that door. We'll do the door on the stairs. And then this way, if I do get some more sheet metal, I could probably just upgrade all three of these doors. There we go. It's a bit useless because it's not really giving me any extra defense, but there's nothing else I can do now. Okay, let's get these two uh, blue filaments printing out. Got fuel in there. Yep. The key gold bar, as you guys saw, I actually missed that one. I was out. It finished printing. And uh, the time that you get once they finish printing is not very long. On these boxes, if it finishes, it just stays there for forever, it seems. But on the uh, good bits of loot, they seem to despawn really quick. So, yeah, it's a bit painful. Lost the gold bar. Not that it's really worth loads anyway. And the one thing I really need to get put on is my raid alarm still. I still haven't done it. There it is. And we'll get some tape so we can get this, uh, get these C4s ready to go. Well, not ready to go, but to the next step. Okay, let's get my old, old kit on. Weapon for chopping some trees. I'll grab this splitting axe here as well. All right, it's time to go do a little bit of chopping down some trees. Get some logs back in this damn base. And I want to go check out up there too. Got a couple of bases down this way now that I haven't really been over and had a look at for a while. So let's go have a little look. A little investigation, shall we? So we've got one C4 working that I can use. The other one's not quite ready to go just yet. So we definitely could raid this one. That's a little one door. Although it could not have any loot. That is probably quite a high possibility. And then this one that's up here on the hill. It's actually really well hidden once you get once you get in here. Look, it's quite well tucked away. Nice little spot. Oh. Oh, yeah. No, take it all back. It's been raided. It has been raided. Interesting why that one got raided. <laughs> I'm not too sure. I wonder what it was that got them raided. Maybe they just uh, annoyed the wrong people or something. Who knows? It's hard to tell. It's the thing with only having the one door, though. As soon as you put a few extra doors in, like I have, people are wary of it because it costs so much to raid, you know? Like, in order for it to be profitable, they need to be raiding something big. Especially all the time I'm offline, I think that works in my favor quite well. Well, if we wait for a, a few hours today, until 12 o'clock once the raid uh, times start, because I can't just raid at any time on this server, there is a schedule. Uh, we could raid this little barn base next door to me. We've only got a couple other bases in town. You got the big, big base, which obviously I can't raid. It's too much C4. And you've got R1 in, who was my friend who I sort of spoke to. So I definitely don't want to be raiding him. So yeah, it's pretty much this barn base. 
or maybe something a little bit further afield, as there are some more bases around. But we do have some despawning and stuff too, so I think probably the barn base is going to be the one to clear off the map. Is that an actual base? Is that like a hidden base or something? Look! I just saw the side of the flag. Dude! Oh, he's been raided as well. Not a bad little spot, though. Definitely not as hidden, I guess, as he would have liked. Um, but yeah, that's a, this is not a bad little bit of building right here. Shame that you had to put the flag up and give away your position, because that would have been a really great spot otherwise. Leave a comment what you think, guys. Do you think we should get rid of base flags in DayZ? Do you think they sort of ruin it a little bit? Because I sort of do. I love a hidden base, you know me. So a few, we got more to get though. It's definitely not going to be enough. Right, well that's three, three runs worth of logs. I don't know if this will be enough. Let me drop these off on the uh, thing here. There we go, and then I can start sawing up the rest. Okay, so. I think I've worked out how to do the raid alarm now, so we're going to do it. The first thing I need to do though is destroy it. Interestingly enough. Uh, so I need to get a, a clip of me destroying it and send that to the admins. Oh. Didn't work. That did. Nice. Now that I've ruined it, I need to tab out for a second because I need to send this to them in Discord. Okay. So I'm tabbed back in. It was a bit of an experience. I had to send them a ticket on Discord. Um, and now I'm just going to have to wait for the admins to turn up, really. But I think what I'll have to do then is take the code locks off and put them back on. And then, in my new Discord channel that I made, I can get a notification if someone places a C4 on the door. So if I'm away, then I'll know if I'm getting raided. Which is a pretty cool little feature. It was a bit of a pain to set up, but to be honest, now that I know how to do it, it was actually really easy. So if you're trying to do it, it's actually not hard, you just gotta follow the instructions. Look at my rifle wall, that is looking good. There are no bad guns up there. <laughs> okay, I've still got a lot of planks and logs there, which I am going to build with uh, soon. But I'm just getting this raid alarm done first. I know I keep getting distracted. I don't think I can build up at all inside anymore. I think we're pretty much full in here. I don't want any more doors making it, uh, you know, more difficult to get around. So I'm basically going to have to build out the front. Just make sure I don't have anything on me. And yeah, I'll go and just have a little look out the front real quick. Could just place a door here, have like a little porch area. And then I guess snap some stuff off of that. I don't know. How else I could do this, really? That's a bit too big for a single door. Door kit. And it will be two wall kits I want. Oh, I think. Let me just do one for now, because I don't really know if that's right. Okay, give me a small kit. Yeah, so you can tell already that's too small. Like, tiny. You'd have to have it like this and then do do a wall. Which I do have a wall, so that will work. Come on, where's the... There you go. Yeah, I mean, this will work, to be fair. Just needs, I just need more small walls. One, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. That's all the kits placed down. Let me get more planks. Some logs, too. I'm going to need a hatchet. Okay, get my hatchet. 
And did I pick up nails? Yeah, I got nails. Okay. Now we want to do wooden wool. So it's looking clean. Build wood door. All right. You go and get a code lock. There we go. Code locked. Should we run out and get a little look? Oh, <laughs> look at that. I was not expecting it to look like that. Uh, well, it's definitely an interesting look. I don't know if it's quite legal. I think it should be legal because it's quite a big little area. I think it should be fine. Oh, well, it's another door anyway. Okay, I need to actually go and get code locks. Or at least a code lock. Maybe I should just go run and do that now. Because I'm definitely going to need one before I can build. So let's go run over there now. I may as well grab a couple if I can. Okay, let's withdraw some money. They got the strong claw hammer here, which is basically a uh, a saw which never disintegrates. It never degrades. But the thing is, the wear on a saw is so low anyway that you don't really need it. So if they want to make this more useful, they should make saws deteriorate really quick. Honestly, there's really just a lot of rubbish listed on there at the moment. I didn't realize there was sheet metal. It's expensive though, this guy's got it listed really expensive. But, I do have the money for that, that might be worth it, you know. It's expensive. But sometimes, you know, you got to pay a lot of money. Boom. We've done it. God, I dropped to the floor. Game trying to uh, trying to do me over. Okay. Ah, oh, screw it, I'm buying it. All right, that's basically all my money gone. <laughs> Luckily, we got those two uh, high tier boxes that are printing. That's eight hundred thousand. Those will sell for. So that will fill my money back up. That's two hundred and eighty-six thousand I got left. But I mean, that's totally worth it to get sheet metal and I got four code locks. So we got plenty of uh, stuff for expanding building now. I'll be a bit careful on this run back into base though, especially knowing that the other big base in town is online. I don't think they've really worked out that I'm I'm here though, so not like they're going to be door camping me or anything. Hopefully. All right, we're leaving a safe zone. This is an expensive run and got a lot of stuff on me. This sheet metal was worth serious money to anyone basically. I paid extortionate prices for it as well. So that makes it even more worth money. Right. Oh, we made it. God, that was really nerve wracking stuff. 10 sheet metal. It's absolutely huge. And then I got these code locks for the building process. Doors I can build up. But I need to wait until the restart because... After the restart, I have to actually dismantle my doors and rebuild them so the raid alarms work. So basically, once that's, you know, once we have had the restart, I'll build the sheet metal doors, but I don't want to build them now and then have to uh, dismantle them. <laughs> It'll be a big waste of the really expensive sheet metal. Just put it straight over the top of the useless computer. Might be sticking through the wall a little bit. Alright, well that gives me some more storage space anyway. I can put some junk down here. We should run and grab some. Refuel this baby a little bit. With all I can. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they're both finished. Nice. Not an issue anymore. That's two more boxes of high tier parts. So there we go, that's 800,000. Okay, it's late at night. I think I might be getting raided. I'm not too sure. Just before the thing, I got a alert.
What's going on? Well, I definitely didn't get raided anyway, because they would have taken my sheet metal for sure. Hey, we still got the airlock there. Because my black needs to go out? Okay, so we had the obvious problem that half the base despawned last night. Which is not ideal. I did, however, speak to the admin afterwards, though. And it turns out that the server wipe is literally in a couple of days' time. It's on Friday afternoon, actually. You know, I don't want to waste too much time. There's not really much point in building up anything else now. Uh, I can go and sell these couple of crates there for a little bit of profit. I could do these keys as well, actually, at some point. So I do still have a little bit to do, just for fun. But one thing I do have is use up this C4 right here. And that's what I intend to do, actually. So... Get my mags, and we're going to go raid this little barn base just next to me. It actually feels like the wipes crept up on me really fast. But I think that just comes from having a bit of a break in the middle of the wipe. Uh, we're up to day 17 right now, guys. So for anyone who's been wanting an update and has been following along, thank you for the support. Day 17. Crazy. On the push now for a free week mark. And here we go. Let's hope this is only one door. And it's not like a really complicated building inside. Let's do it. Oh, sh**. That didn't take long. You can hear it from quite far away. <gasps> Don't know how long it's going to take, so I'm just going to have to stand here for a bit. <laughs> God, it scared me. Okay, it didn't take off the whole thing. No. Ah, uh, I should have raided that base. Oh, one thing I can do is build up this to uh, to sheet metal. There we go. We still have one day of getting raided, so let's put that on there. And now we actually have a tier two door. And if only my other ones didn't get despawned, I could have built another one. But we're stuck with one. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna have to message an admin. Okay, so it turns out that you can door stack on this as much as you want to. I went AFK there, right in front of the window. It probably wasn't a good idea. Um, but yeah, you can door stack as much as you want to, as long as you can walk between them. So, that's a bit lame, but that means that next wipe I can literally just stack 20 doors up next to each other. I didn't think you could do that. I'm pretty sure that was against the rules, but I guess they changed the rules at some point. I don't know. I don't know. It gets confusing, doesn't it? Oh, I can sell these high tier parts. Or I could try a key. Let's do it. Let's take a tier 3 key and we'll go do these. Gives me something to do. I think I might have a chance to get 100%, like 100% chance to get a tier 4 key, if that makes sense. Since they changed it because of it being pre-wipe. I think it means that everyone's getting keys now, basically. Yeah, I think we're good. What have we got? Yeah, tier 4 key, baby. Nice. Nice. I'm pretty sure it's a 100% chance, so I don't want to really celebrate too much. Because it might just make me look silly. Right now, I just need to leave this <coughs> good few minutes, good 10 minutes or so. Alright, I'm just dropping off my stash. Or it's gotten dark as well in the meantime. So I'll be back for this stuff on the way through. Oh, and I'm starving. So we'll get this run done and head straight back to the trader. No big deal. Okay, yeah, it's shut. So we're probably not going to have a case spawned in when we open this. Might have to do the old... Uh... Oh, wait. There is a case. And it has loot. Okay, we're good. Another tier 4 key. And we're good to go. Let's do it. Back to the safe zone with two tier 4 keys. Not bad, huh? Look at the moon now, it looks so cool. They really uh, upgraded that. Looking great. Yeah, I'm going to list these two keys. We'll just make some money off them. Don't know if someone will actually buy that because it's very expensive, but whatever. We'll try it because it's a last ditch attempt to get some money in that. 
And let's just see if anyone has electrical repair kit. There are two on there for 35k. Oh, all right, nice. That's nice and cheap. Okay, we'll take it. And we'll head back to base. Right, let's go and try and take out this other door. If he's got another door after it, then we're just, we can't get in. That's the end of it. <laughs> we're going to have to accept defeat. And there's the big base. Little one final update on them. They stayed the whole time. Thought they might have got raided by a bigger team, but they never did. And we also made it. The whole wipe. Let's get this last C4 made, shall we? And go and plant this baby down. Okay, so detonator is on. Okay, that's good. And we have one heavy breaching charge. Let me drop this stuff. Don't need this stuff. Right, let's do it. It's time, guys. Hopefully this one gets me in there. I forgot to get food while I was at the safe zone. Okay. Place it down. There we go. Alright, you can see it in there. Oh, wait. I can see from here he's got more. He's got another door right behind it as well. Nah, there's nothing I can do, guys. It's just too much. Wait, actually, no, it's not nothing I can do. Right, I'm going to leave that on there. There is one more course of action. I can sell my boxes to buy the C4 charge, which is on the market as well. If it's only one more door after this, it's still doable. But I'm going to have to do some more work first. Got to run to the black market first. So I may as well just leave that charge on there right now, because it's going to do its thing. It's going to blow up. Let's do it. Let's go to the safe zone. So I need one more C4 to get this raid complete. I think, anyway. One more should be fine. Food. Buy burgers again. Okay. This will stop me from starving. Just having a drink, too. And we can pop one of my grizzly packs as well. Should heal me back up. Yep, it did. Okay. Let's do it. The one final black market run, guys. We got two high tier boxes of parts to sell, a few burgers to keep me full, and now hopefully once we make this money, we'll be able to get the base raided. Finally finished up. <laughs> you know, the last trip to Black Market, it's going to be very nostalgic. We have had a lot of Black Market runs this swipe. A lot of runs. It's been a very successful 3D printing operation, I must say. I think in the next series, we're going to have to come up with some other business venture. I don't know what I can do. Maybe I'll sell bases to noobs. Oh. Yeah. We literally got a guy safe zone camping right now. I don't really need his loot. Right, we got him. Stupid safe zone camper. Well, just as I said, there wasn't going to be any PvP. There was. Good old, <laughs> good old extra kit, huh? Better reload the piece, huh? This is a reliable gun. <laughs> that got the job done on that guy. This is probably the least cautious I've been because it just got barely anyone online. Yeah, we're good. Sell. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, no, I don't need to buy a repair kit. I was thinking about buying the electrical repair kit, but you don't actually need it because there's a whole charge on the market. And if not, there is another repair kit as well. Oh, I just realised I've only got 400k on me. I don't know what happened, but... 
one of those boxes I don't have the money of. Oh, I only need 400 anyway. Wait, no, I need 450. Right, we're back to the safe zone. I can't believe I managed to lose 400k there. Let's see, because if I don't have enough for AC4, I'm going to have to run back and try and get the money back, aren't I? No other choice, really. Yes, yeah, so I can get electrical repair kit for 35. Okay, we're going to be alright. We're going to be fine. We can get a detonator for 75. There you go. 60 and 75. Not bad. Okay, we are making another C4, guys. It is on. We are about to raid. So excited for this one. Hopefully, this is the last the last straw. The last raid that we need to do. Okay. C4 without wiring. Got to wire this bad boy up. Hey, man. Wire this baby. And okay. Nice. We got it. Heavy breaching charge. We put our money away. Yeah. Yeah, we have. Let's do this thing. Okay, let's get a little look, shall we? And yeah, that door is blown off. It's obviously hard to tell for sure. But I think this is the last one. If it isn't, there's not really anything else I can do now, guys. But we have placed it. Try and get a little look in there from where we were before, see if we can see. Definitely see that it's three doors. But... Looks like there's more doors after. There's definitely three doors lined up here. So I'll be able to get through to the next section, whatever that is. But I don't know if I'll be able to get anywhere from there. But we'll find out anyway, won't we? You know. It's about to go. Any second. Now, maybe. Get ready. And... Come on, let's get a look at this. Let's get a look. Come on. Come on. Is it enough? It's not enough. There's one. Oh, wait. There's no lock on it. Oh. What? Oh. It's got a door there as well. Okay, yeah, I mean, we're just not getting into this base. He could have more doors stacked up behind that as well. <laughs> yeah, we're just not getting in. He's got too much C4. I didn't realize that you could do one foot door stacking on this server. It's a bit annoying. Uh, makes it very difficult, doesn't it? Makes it so that you need 20 C4 if you ever want to raid someone, which for a solo is basically impossible. So there you go. We tried to have some fun, guys. Nevertheless, we did not have fun. <laughs> and that's the end of it. <laughs> Thank you guys all for watching this series. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that like button. And subscribe to the channel because there will be another series on the way. Uh, I know it's not much. It's been a quaint little base for us this wipe though. And it has kept me alive, which is more than I could have asked for. We finish alive with all our stuff. Only having lost a little bit to uh, a bit of a despawn, which we can live with. That's not too bad. If, uh, if I didn't lose that other 400k in the black market, then I might have been able to get in that base then, which is kind of annoying. But I can't really be asked to keep running around to get C4 because I don't know how many more doors he's got stacked in there. And Well, quite frankly, I'm basically out of money now anyway, so that's sort of it. <laughs> that's it for me. Oh, I'll play it down there. Oh, that's true. This will be fun. Can't hear him. Damn it. Sponged. Let's push him now. There he is. Swarm running for the trees. Plunges a heavy round right through his midsection. Okay, well, I've got no idea where the guy went. He just ran away, hid, and then 
somehow knew exactly where I was and shot me, so that's always fun. Well, unfortunately, this frustrating encounter was the end of my wipe, guys. After this, I headed back into the base, chilled out, and logged off before the new day. I could have grinded like 400k for a new C4, but there was no promise that I was going to get in on the next one. He could have had more doors behind it as well. So we're leaving it here for this wipe. Thanks to everyone who's joined me along the way. I know the ending wasn't as crazy as maybe some would expect, but bear in mind guys, I could have asked for help at any time here. I could have been given free stuff and I just didn't take it apart from a few little goodies here at the start of this video, but I could have been given all the C4 I needed to raid this base, but I decided to try and graft it and I couldn't quite get it done as a one man. That's the life of a solo and that's what you get here on this channel. Real Daisy experience where there is no real destination at the end. It's just about the journey. As always, thank you for watching and peace.